Hello Zimbabwe and welcome to your daily tech dosage of technology news. I'm your host Shinglev Moringi and today we are making a review of the Potra's fourth quarter 2016 key sector performance report. Um, as the regulator of the Zimbabwean telecommunications industry, Potras is responsible for gathering statistics and also disseminating industrial information and performance to you consumers and other players so that people and the government and other players, they know how the sector is performing. So these are the major highlights from the report that we received from Potras. First of all, there was not much movements in terms of subscriptions and internet services, but only the fixed telephone lines which also declined by, which was said to be have declined by 8.7%. And this is an area which mainly affects a fixed internet oper mobile telecom operators like Tier one because they are the ones who rely on a robust and well-built uh, generational fixed line infrastructure. So a decline in 8.7% of subscription, it also means a decline in revenue for the likes of T1 and other very few operators who rely on fixed lines. Then on the other side, this report says the mobile penetration rate for active subscribers increased by 0.5% to reach 94.8% from the 94.3% of the third quarter sector performance report, which was recorded in the same year, 2016. So there's not been such much movement in terms of uh, mobile subscriptions, in terms of uh, uh, more people joining the mobile network across the country. So a 0.5% is, is something that we, we have been expecting because almost every citizen uh, since uh, 2010, uh, people have been joining mobile, uh, uh, mobile networks uh, due also to the rise of our mobile devices. So it's, it's not something that we are very worried about because almost the whole nation is using mobile networks. Uh, one of the major highlights was that the internet penetration rate declined by 0.1% to reach 50% from the previous 50.1% recorded in the previous quarter. So this is a very disturbing uh, area for me. Because if you look uh, at the population of Zimbabwe, we are a country with an estimated population of around 14 million. So if the report says we have an internet penetration rate of 50%, what does this mean to the sector? What does this mean to the nation, to the users, and the rest of the internet community? It means that for a country like Zimbabwe with a 14 million population, we only have people between 6 to 7 million who are active on the internet, who are using the internet to do their daily to day business. This is very, very disturbing because in a digital age, in, the, in, in an in the internet age like we are living today, we expect more people to be very active on the internet. The report also says that mobile internet data usage rose by 19%, while its national mobile voice traffic declined by 15%. On the other side, it's very good for the consumers because uh, these mobile uh, network operators like Econet Wireless, uh, Net1, Telesel, uh, you name them, have been trying to give more data options to their users uh, due to competition and you know data prices have been going down in the previous three years. Uh, but for voice traffic to decline by 50, 15%, it really spells trouble for these uh, mobile uh, network operators because most of their revenue has been coming from voice calls. Meaning to say if, you, if the rest of the, the country, if the rest of the population does not go into the street or into shops to get a time to call, uh, revenue is going down for the operators and it also spells doom uh, for the sector as a whole because a reduction in revenue also means that the telecommunication sector may find it very difficult to navigate and get more uh, uh, other external or another side uh, st streams of revenue. The report uh, further on uh, goes to highlight that there was significant increase in inbound roaming traffic of 36% while its outbound roaming traffic reduced by 14%. What is meant by the term inbound roaming traffic? It means that we are looking at people who are visiting Zimbabwe and they are trying to use our telecommunication infrastructure set by our players uh, to stay connected to the rest of the world. Meaning to say the people who traveled into Zimbabwe who stayed connected using their mobile devices and roaming options, that traffic amounted to 36%. But the outgoing traffic of roaming outside Zimbabwe, outside our borders, uh, stood at 
which is uh, uh, quite a, 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 a point where we are not satisfied because people when Zimbabweans will travel a lot outside the country, we expect Zimbabwe to be uh, raking a lot of uh, revenue in terms of roaming because our people, they travel with South Africa, Botswana, uh, Churundu border posts, uh, Nyamapanda. Our borders are always very easy because our people, they travel a lot outside this country. So I have been expecting that probably the roaming uh, of outbound calls should have increased so as to benefit our telecom operators to uh, generate and regain more revenue on that. Uh, the report on, went on to, to say that uh, telecommunication revenues in total in overall increased by 2.8% to record a 269 million, which is around 270 million revenue from the previous 262 million recorded in the previous uh, quarter. Uh, as much as we would want to rejoice that there was a little increase uh, by 2.8 percent, it does not uh, spell good fortunes for us because 2.8 percent is a very powerful figure for a nation like Zimbabwe, which is looking to recover all of its industries. And we are expecting the ICT sector to play a very more important role in generating revenue for this country so that we may, in, the, the, these revenues can contribute to a positive GDP uh, for our economy, but a 2.8% is not satisfactory, maybe probably a double figure uh, plus 10% uh, percent and going upwards would really, really spell good fortunes for us in the future if our tele telecommunication revenue can reach those margins. Uh, uh, down uh, going the highlights of the sector performance reports, uh, one of the major issues that got me worried as a tech analyst and a player and a person who was very, very, very interested uh, in the end to the mobile uh, money revolution was that mobile money transaction decreased by 35% with cross-networking transaction going down by 44%. A 35% decrease in the use of mobile money in this country does not look good for Zimbabwe at all. Because remember, we're a country that is already struggling in terms of cash shortage. People are already continuing to queue up on, on, in banks. Uh, we have been expecting that there might be a shift of power, there might be a shift of how people conduct their daily to day transaction, uh, converting from the old ways of using cash, uh, going to the bank, you draw cash and you do your transactions. But we have been thinking and we've been hoping that mobile money can really come and aid the Reserve Bank uh, in promoting the use of plastic money to try and ease uh, the hassles of getting cash into the, uh, from the banks. So a decline in mobile money transaction by 35% does not really spell good fortunes for Zimbabwe as a war because uh, we continue to be left in a very, very serious tight spot where people have to continue, where people are still looking forward to get cash from the banks and do their transaction. Yet that same cash is not available. So it has been, it could have been much more easier if people and the rest of the uh, industrial community uh, conveyed uh, and made a consensus that mobile money transactions and plastic money could be the way to go for this country since cash is very hard to come by. And uh, also considering that networking transactions has gone down by 44%, it's really, really disturbing because it, from, from one of the major highlights, if you go down the street, some service station, they say after hours, after work hours, 6, uh, 7 p.m., they no longer accept debit cards or they no longer accept the likes of eco cash, one wallet or telecash. They want cash. This is very disturbing for the country because we are expecting mobile money transaction to play a revolutionary role in transaction in, in moving our economy from the cash-based economy to a cashless economy. So um, we, 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 we really want to, to, to see uh, our players in the Arab uh, coming together to provide a solution to help the nation as a whole to, to, to support the use of mobile money and uh, plastic money in this country so that people may, may stop worrying about moving around with cash in their pockets. Uh, the last two points are on the highlights of this uh, sector performance report is that internet access providers revenue was up by 44%. These uh, internet access providers, they include Liquid Telecom Zimbabwe, Tel One, the likes of Africom, Telecontract. So these are the players who mainly get their re revenues through selling wholesale data, through selling internet services to the public. Like uh, this is where we come in with uh, retail, Liquid Telecoms, retail operators, or we'll come in also with, with also Tel One in, in, in the mix. 
So it, 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 it's quite uh, a positive. Know that a 4% increase is good for us, it's good for the sector to, to, to have people subscribing to various internet services. The last part of the major highlight um, of this report is that postal and courier volumes increased by 5.4% to register a 10% increase in revenue. Uh, this is good for the Ministry of ICT because that this is some this is an area where they've been getting most of their 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 revenue from to supplement um, their operations. Uh, this can be accredited uh, to the use of our uh, postal services, uh, the likes of uh, DHL uh, and other Zim, uh, local uh, courier services which uh, have been carrying uh, parcels in and around Zimbabwe. But we mainly hope that um, the ministry can uh, help uh, other private players to through subsidies so that uh, the postal, mainly the postal area, uh, can, can stay afloat. Um, then uh, the last part of the report uh, gives us uh, a detailed analysis of also a market share. And uh, just to give you my, my, my last presentation, it says that uh, Econet continues uh, to maintain the biggest uh, market share or for, for the mobile uh, telecom operators, uh, followed by Netwan and uh, lastly by Telesale. Uh, we will be publishing a lot of articles. We will continue to review these articles for you. So you can just visit our website, our new site, www.263chat.com. We will be publishing a lot of this uh, about this uh, report in our tech news section. Uh, and we will also continue to make interviews. We are looking forward to, to, to interview the Director General uh, of Portraits and the Minister of ICT, uh, Honorable Superman Wanzara, to shed more light into this report and what it means uh, to the Zimbabwean uh, industrial community as a whole. Until then, I'm your host, Shinglev Muringi, and stay connected to 263 Chat. God bless. For these and other stories, visit our website, www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter, at 263chat, and like our Facebook page, 263